So going a few years back to uh, 2005, you know, 2006, and even before that, uh, you had probably uh, some valid patterns of FUD. So people will say, well, you couldn't use the latest Flash Player to play certain types of video, uh, which to some people won't be of interest, to some people it's going to be vital uh, access to certain sites uh, like YouTube, which had a requirement of Flash 8 not being available for Linux, of course, and uh, and then you had all kinds of weird things to do with visuals and to do with compatibility with applications, with Word, uh, Skype, uh, although Skype was working for Linux not just to the same extent, uh, way back, you know, about five years ago. Uh, so what I increasingly found, uh, especially in the when I write tech rights and I'm trying to find those patterns of FUD to respond to, to try and correct these things, as uh, there is a departure from the old type of FUD. I, I don't see the many blog posts and articles uh, using the same talking points in old Linux is bad because of the following list of reasons, uh, where all of them basically expired. Uh, the, the, the issue of patents was never brought up along with those reasons because it wasn't actually anything to do with technical merits. Uh, it was mostly to do with uh, uh, lack of something and with Linux basically got all of these things now. Uh, so to kind of summarize that what I found with FUD is we increasingly have to forget about all those, you know, rebutton liars and trolls and instead focus on patent trolls because this is what we have to deal with now. Uh, in 2011. Uh, and this is the reason when I write tech rights, this is what I focus all my energies on, on almost all my energy on, at least so far.